Advocate IFL TV, and here I'm here in Newcastle. You already know. I enjoy my interviews with Sam Jones. He's standing right in front of me. Sam, four from four from your fighters. We'll start right at the start of the night. Yeah. Owen, um, good tough fight for him in this stage of his career. Listen, I think they were all bangers, weren't they, tonight? But no, Owen went in there, just just got rid of his opponent, smashed for his opponent. A bit more finesse was probably needed, but he was gone in there and smashed the guy to pieces, which is what you want to see. His brother uh, Ben got yeah, dropped in the second, the second but a snappy overhand, right? But yeah. listen. He said to me that when he got dropped, he just felt like I need to get him out of it. He said, he said in his words, I feel like an idiot, but I said, listen, he got caught with a shot, silly shot, wasn't hurt, wasn't buzzed, got up, and I thought Ben was absolutely class in that fight. I thought, I thought he put his shots together great. And look, it's just part of his story, isn't it? He got put over, got up, smashed the guy to pieces and stopped. The, stopped. Mark Dickinson, I thought he was absolutely sensational tonight, put his shots together. And I think Grant Dennis just didn't want to be in there anymore with him, which is hot, which is, Grant, Grant Dennis is known for his toughness, so credit to Mark Dickinson. Cameron Vong um, for a young man to co-headline in his home city of Newcastle yeah, to, to get a, a tough opponent a very very dangerous I'm live opponent. I you know that because you're a proper boxing person. That opponent was not there to just fall on the floor. He was like an octopus. It was hard to land on but Cameron got his composure in the second round and he put on a class display and that's all you can ask for him and like I, I'm telling you now this kid is going on to win world titles Andrew. He's special. Listen, I, I tell you right now, what, what you, you talk about special, that jab was special. special. I mean, that jab, there was four jabs that probably take some other fighters the speed of one jab. He was just picking that jab out and I said to him, are you known for your jab? And he said, that's the best weapon in my, that's the best weapon this in my toolbox, probably basically. probably shot, but the jab takes you around the world. That's what they say. That's right it. hand takes you around the block, jab yeah. takes you around the world. Well, there you go, you said that. So, yeah, that, that's what it does and Cameron's got that. And Cameron spars such a high level all the time with Jack Catchell, but honestly, Andrew, he is a special, special talent. Listen, you're four from four, like I said, you're a busy man. There's Tom Dallas over there. There's Tom Dallas <laughs> over there. <laughs> he knows. He knows. Um, listen to me. Yeah, obviously, four from four for you tonight. And tough fights. Oh, even through the card. Fighters that we didn't oh. even yours. You're talking about Callum French and oh all these guys and Hugh, uh, Hugh McKenzie and Ishmael Davis. I mean, there's by been the a cracking fight. McKenzie, I'll just get a little special mention to him. What a pair of bollocks he's got, by the way. Absolutely unbelievable toughness. Um, but look. It, the whole card, I thought, was like a, it was a thriller, wasn't a bit of a thriller, wasn't it? I think everyone got everyone's loads of stoppages. It was fantastic, fantastic. But these are what these next gen shows need. You need to show, show, show Eddie says there, show me what you can do. And um, I'm super proud of Cameron after that performance, though. Really, I am because a lot of prospects will get unstuck with a, an opponent like that because they'll think, oh my god, how do I deal with him? And Cameron just got to his got on his jab and he looks special. He's mature for a young man, but even though he, I don't know about out of the no, ring, that's what I mean. In the ring, definitely. Bit mature in the ring, maybe not so outside the ring. But yeah, listen, no, he's, a he's, he's, he's a great he's a kid, beautiful like kid, a beautiful yeah. kid, lovely family, um, well mannered. And uh, I love how he listens to Jamie Moore in the corner. I think it's fantastic how he listens to absolutely everything he says. He takes it on board and he produces it in the in the in the ring. Sam, talk to me about Eddie Hearn, right? He said that we want characters, we need characters in and out of the ring. You're a character in boxing. People either like you or hate you. Thanks, All right, which is true. Um, but we need these characters. Chris Eubank Senior is back on the scene. You've probably seen his comments reference to Conor Ben and Harlem Eubank and that. But it's good to have Chris Eubank Senior. <laughs> um, Taking you back to your youth, yeah, yeah, yeah. I used to listen to this in Zanzibar and Derby. Shout out Zanzibar and Derby. It's not open anymore. I think it's called Cosmo. Um, <laughs> um, no, what was he saying? I've lost. I've lost uh, my trailer. Eubank Senior being back. So, yeah, listen, I, I'm glad Eubank Senior is back. I wish he was side by side with his dad, uh, with his uh, with his son, Chris Junior, because that's what I think the build up will be great with Connor and his dad and Eubank Junior and his dad. I think it'll be fantastic. But he's with Harlem Eubank. Good fight, a good performance last night. Harlem Eubank. Really like Harlem Eubank. It's great to see Eubank Senior back in boxing. He's a great character. Yes, Sam, it's good to see you back in boxing. Thank you, sir. Big time. Wait, what's next for you? Uh, Belfast, Cameron Vong, Wallop. There you go, exclusive, yeah. bang! <laughs> <laughs> so, Cameron Vong's going to be out on uh, December the 2nd, is it? Yes. With, um, uh, on, yeah, on the Michael Conlon undercard, which the Irish fans, wow, they're unbelievable. Um, looking forward to... Not better be an exclusive. You better not give that to Matt Lenahan. No, I don't think so. I think I've given it to you. Thanks very much. Yeah, I've given it to you. Yeah, love a Michael Condon fight night. Always special, always a special atmosphere. Amazing fans, and I can't wait to show them Cameron Vong. George O'Connor's going to be on that show. Dan Toward's fighting the night before in Bolton. I'll, I'll be, be there. there. Yes, I'll be there, so I'll see you there, Andy. That's when next time I'll see you. Special kid. Wait till you see it. Do you remember your first time in Belfast? You had to, had to walk you back to your hotel. 
We won't talk about that. <laughs> no, but listen, tell Andrew, you need to be be, spe be specific. Right. Please tell the camera that it wasn't due to me being intoxicated or any of those reasons. It was just a... Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Just me talking shit, basically, we'll yeah. Leave it there. <laughs> Sam, thanks very much, bro. I appreciate your time. Thank you.